The battle to find a cure for HIV still rages on, decades since the virus was first detected. The discovery of combination antiretroviral therapy was a huge milestone which has proven to be remarkably successful. People living with HIV can successfully suppress the virus to undetectable levels once they are commenced on antiretroviral therapy. However, this treatment must be for life. Stopping antiviral therapy results in a viral load rebound and negative health consequences. But why has HIV been so difficult to cure? One of the reasons why it has been so difficult to eradicate HIV is because of its uncanny ability to evade medications by hiding inside certain cells of the immune system such as the T-cells and macrophages. HIV can remain hidden and inactive inside these cells for months or even years making it impossible for the immune systems to recognize it. These cells that are harboring the dormant HIV are referred to as the HIV reservoir. Detecting and eradicating the HIV reservoir is the biggest obstacle currently being faced by scientists that are searching for an HIV cure. Besides its ability to evade the immune system, HIV is also one of the fastest mutating viruses known. This presents a challenge for vaccine development. In addition, some of the mutated strains are resistant to antiretroviral drugs. Scientists have also discovered that chronic infection with HIV can cause progressive loss of immune cell function. This immune exhaustion persists among HIV-infected patients despite long-term viral suppression due to antiretroviral therapy. Therefore, any types of HIV cure must find a way to address the chronic immune exhaustion. In this video we explore three broad strategies that have shown promise to be the much sought after HIV cure. One of the most extensively researched strategy for HIV cure is the kick and kill strategy. This two-step strategy involves sending an agent to kick and wake up the hiding and sleeping virus. Once the virus is reactivated it starts replicating making it possible for a second agent to kill the newly exposed virus. Latest studies in mice showed that this strategy can eradicate up to 40% of the cells harboring latent HIV. However, challenges still exist regarding safely stimulating all the latent HIV cells. An alternative to the kick and kill strategy is known as the block and lock strategy. Instead of waking up HIV-infected cells, other researchers are exploring the idea of putting them to sleep indefinitely. This involves agents that can block stimulation of HIV replication in latently infected cells as a way to permanently silence the HIV reservoir. Human studies are still needed to test whether this approach offers a viable route to long-term control of HIV without art. The third strategy is aimed at strengthening the immune system. Some of the most promising HIV vaccine models to date involve a rare type of antibodies that can neutralize most of the HIV variants. These broadly neutralizing antibodies were first discovered in a few people who appear to have the ability to suppress HIV replication without antiretroviral therapy. These individuals are known as elite controllers and show no evidence of HIV disease progression despite not being on treatment. Some of these specialized antibodies act against the sites on the virus which are unlikely to mutate, and studies have shown that they can suppress viral rebound when antiretroviral treatment is interrupted. While these methods are all promising, each of them has significant shortcomings and have failed to independently eradicate HIV. This failure of isolated strategies makes it likely that the combination of several of them may be the ultimate solution. But for now, which of these strategies do you think is most promising? Comment below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video so that more people are informed of the latest advances in HIV medicine.